So it's been a little while since I've done a, some Max content, so I think I'd like to get into another Axe project. Uh, now the last one that I did was the uh, last Axe project that I did was the uh, Pitted Pulaski build. Um, so that was a while ago now. <laughs> and I recently did this rounding hammer. Um, Rehandle. So if you haven't seen that and you want to take a look at that, you can see the, the first attempt and then the, the second attempt where I do a, a better hang here. Rush myself on the first one a little. But I did this project and it came out good. I like it. Um, I'd like the finish on this handle that I ended up doing. It's like a, a darker or deeper char. Um, I don't usually char handles, but um, at least do like a light char. And this is the first time I've done like a darker one. Um, I didn't take a super. I wasn't super careful with it, so there's some spots that are a little bit lighter. Um, but I, I like the overall finish and how it came out. And I think it's kind of cool with the, uh, the darker kind of you know patina on the head. And it got me thinking about um, this Collins uh, Connecticut pattern axe that I have or head that I have. And I haven't you know obviously it's haven't built it into anything yet. So I was thinking maybe doing a build on just a standard. 28 inch, uh, you know, house handle, you know, curved. Uh, one that's, you know, lighter. Because I, I really like, you know, how I had on this one. You know, these two are essentially the same exact handles, but this one is heartwood, whereas this one is 100% um, you know, sapwood. So it's that lighter blonde wood. Um, so like I say, it's, it's stronger. Maybe, maybe not. You know, you can, you know, leave what you want on that. I don't really have too too much of an opinion. Um, I do think that the the heartwood is significantly you know prettier. So I think it's more attractive, right? So um, not really knocking the sapwood, but I just, no, I don't think it looks as good. Um, so I haven't really built too many with just the pure sapwood handles, but I think it could look really cool if I do a you know dark char finish on it and combine that with kind of this older pitted head that has a you know kind of nice dark patina on it. Um, I've showed this head in a couple of videos. I think I showed it in the one where I did the, the Collins. Um, this Collins build and the Killinger handle. Um, these two heads are essentially you know exactly the same. Um, this one's just in a little bit a little bit better condition. Um, not much though. So it's got some more of like that uh, original kind of like blued paint and blued finish. Um, Still a little pitted and whatnot. Clean stamp. Um, clean, uh, let's see, the, the weight stamp on the pole. It's a three and a half. Um, it's pretty cool. This head here is essentially the same exact thing, but just a little, you know, still a nice clean stamp. Really not much pole damage, just a tiny little bit. I don't even plan on touching that because I don't want to mess up the patina on it and kind of original characteristic and it's it, the mushrooms barely you know barely enough to really hang up on anything or catch so i don't think it'd be a problem for a user um you can just kind of barely see the remnants of that three and a half stamp there um, so that's kind of cool but the the finish on the, the actual you know cheeks of the axe um head are you know a nice dark deep patina a little bit of pitting but Really just kind of like a cool, cool, uh, you know, cool, nice old uh, finish on it. So I like it, kind of similar to that head, and I think it would look good paired with a charred handle. So I've uh, actually started shaping the tongue of this down, just getting it fitted, um, but I haven't actually, you know, gotten too too far along with it yet. I plan on, you know, shaping shaping this handle, same as I have um, with all the other, you know, house handles that I have. You know, thinning it down and kind of tuning it how I like. Um, you know, taking more of that sweep up in there. Um, you know, putting that that you know, scroll end that I like on it. This is my three and a half pound plum 
Tonight I get better. It's a fun one. Um, I like the way this one feels, so I think you know, having another one like this would be cool. Really keep it, sell it, trade it, who knows? I just think it's a cool idea for a build. Um, and this handle here, it's like I said, it's a, it's a 28 inch curved hickory handle um, from House Handle. And the grain orientation on it is really nice. Um, no orientation really, really doesn't matter too, too much. But the more important factor is run out and it has next to no run out. You kind of pick up on that, follow that continuous grain right from that palm swell or knob, scroll end, whatever you want to call it, uh, right all the way to the tongue. So, so really nice handle, nice and straight. Um, I know how sandals can sometimes get a get a bad rep for being a little warped, and def, trust me, I've definitely gotten my fair share that uh, that have come a little less than perfect. But like I said in my uh, X handle talk video. The price point on them is really what you can't, is why you can't beat them. Um, if you want to put the work and time into it. And so this is my hobby. I enjoy doing it. So that's what I <laughs> usually like to do. So, but I figured to film this little uh, intro for the video. I'll probably do it in a multiple part series. Um, to get shaping the, shaping the, getting the head um, fit onto the handle and the handle shaped up. And the last step will be, um, you know, charring it and hanging it. So I probably won't char it um, in this video. So if you think I'm making a horrible decision and uh, you think I should just go, you know, standard finish, leave it that blonde wood, um, that blonde sap wood, definitely comment, yeah, comment below and let me know um, what you think. I don't know. I've got, I've got a lot of axes that are, you know, blonde wood and heartwood. So this is, this one here is on a Killinger Boys X handle. If you, if you haven't watched this build video, it's a it's a nice. Uh, Nice handle from him. And the the handle is actually generous enough in uh, in size that it fit this full size full size eye. Little to no little to no shaping. It was a nice tight hang there too. So this is a fun axe. Handle feels great. I know he doesn't make handles anymore, but uh, that's kind of cool one to have in the collection. I don't don't plan on getting rid of that one at all. But who knows about this one? Maybe I will. I've got a, you know, quite a few Connecticut's, so I don't really need two Collinses, but yeah. I'm rambling at this point, so <laughs> uh, get the camera set up again and uh, get to shaping it. And like I said, if you if you th if you think you'd do your uh, a build different, if you'd uh, if you know if you think charring that handle is a terrible idea, by all means, tell me, let me know. Um, I'm not doing it to try to strengthen the handle or to dry it or anything like that or, or harden it. Um, I know fire hardening hickory and wood is a thing. Um, that's, that's not the intended purpose. It's just, you know, purely aesthetic. So probably do a light char on it and, uh, or darker char on it and call it good. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, stay tuned for part two. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy.